Hello, I'm Joe Mekovich, Principal Conductor for Kentucky Opera. And what you just heard is the opening of Richard Strauss's Ariadne of Noxus, which opens Kentucky Opera's Brown Foreman 2017-2018 season at the Brown Theater in Louisville. This wonderful opera is divided into two acts. The first act is called the prologue, and the second act is the opera itself. Now why is it in two acts? It's because the story is this. The premise is that there's this rich man, nouveau riche, who is going to have this brilliant party with tons of people coming, and he's hired two groups to do a performance. The first group is an opera company, and the second group is a group of comic actors, or Comedia dell'arte. They're there to perform after the dinner. During the prologue, you see everyone busying about, we're coming to, to the, the house to serve, the performers are entering, they're getting ready to serve the dinner. But towards the end of the prologue, we find out that because of time, both the opera and the comic skit by the Comedia dell'arte characters have to be performed at the same time. And this gives us the premise for this wonderful comedy by Richard Strauss. <laughs> Look, our prima donna is here. Oh. Oh. We'll be gracing the stage at the Brown Theater, singing the role of Aria. Christine, it's such oh. a pleasure. And it's to meet great you. to meet you. Great. And you know, I like to make entrances like that all the time. <laughs> that is so great. I love it. Thank yes. you. Thank you. So, what are your some, what are some of your favorite moments in this role? Oh wow. Well, one of my favorite things about this role is that in the first in the prologue in the first act, I get to be sort of comic yes. and I, I think I'm a funny person in real life and so it's kind of nice to get to play that prima donna you know when I try to be a prima donna when I've tried to do that yeah. over the years I'm a really big failure at doing it because <laughs> I usually end up laughing you know I, I really could never do that thing like throwing somebody's costumes out of their room and I get to do that kind of stuff in this oh, prologue. I get to be kind of snotty to the tenor. Yeah. The sort of stuff that we kind of like to do. <laughs> don't tell the tenor. But I don't do that. I'm, I'm a nice I'm a nice girl. Although don't ask my daughter about that because she said to me once, you know, Mom, if people really lived with you, they'd know you're not so nice. And the first time she saw me sing Ariadne, she was about maybe seven or eight. And we were driving home from rehearsal one day and she said, Mom, I don't know if you want to know this or not, hear this, but she said, I think the audience is going to like Zerbinetta better than you. Oh, no. I said, really? What? Why do you think that? Well, okay. First of all, she has better costumes. <laughs> Secondly, she's singing one of her arias from a trapeze. <laughs> and third, she said, you're sitting on a rock crying most of the time. <laughs> I love so, so I love the fact that I get to be kind of that funny, stereotypical diva in the first part of the uh, of the opera and then I get to sing some of the most glorious music ever written ever written I I, don't you think I, I, that duet at the end with Bacchus is truly some of the most beautiful music that I think Strauss wrote or that anyone has ever written yeah. do you know yeah. I love it well we're in for a treat here at the oh. Brown Theater Thank you for stopping by. Oh, you magically popped in. I know. How I did know. that happen? I don't know. Must it's, have been your plan. <laughs> it's the best. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so my much. Dear. Pleasure. Thank you. Christine brought up a wonderful point about Strauss's music, and that is the luxurious soaring lines, something that is iconic to his style, his musical language, his vernacular. And I'm going to play a, a, a portion of that, but first I want to say one thing, is that you know when we think of uh, Richard Strauss, we think of immense orchestras, the Rosenkavallo, the, the Frau Neuschatten, and Arabella, these are huge orchestras. With Ariane of Naxos, he scored it for a very small string complement and a Mozartian wind complement as well. So it's, it's a very small, intimate experience that you have with these mega voices. So on top of having these soaring melodies that we'll be hearing in one second, we also have very intimate and, and, and wonderful uh, songs, folk songs on the some Lendler. But here's an example where Christine was talking about soaring melodies.
cannot wait for you to see this piece. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's one of Ian's favorite pieces. And we have an, a magnificent cast for you at the Brown Theater. So come and join us for Strauss's Ariane of Naxos. Joseph Mekovich and my friends at Kentucky Opera would like to thank Gis Piano for the use of this beautiful recital hall to do these wonderful videos for you.